fist, let us take out one of the keyless arms. And then turn over it and open the landing gears. After that, we can take out the drone frame and put it here. One is big, another is small. This design can prevent the arm from being inserted backwards. No, let us plug the arm in, lock the locking piece. This is the antenna of the video data link. Just rotate and tighten here. Let us take it out and put the antenna up. Open the RC with this button. Here are the batteries. Let us take them out of box and plug it on the drone. Remember to lock them from here. This is our Pandora quick release system. We can Mount the gimbal camera and connect it with the drone so easy. Now the kill drone is already electrified. Please don't team move the drone in this process. Because the flight controller has to self-check first, you can hear this checking sound and that. The second sound means the self-check was successful. After the drone is powered on and completes the self-check, we have to calibrate the compass. Be sure to keep each side of the drone up and rotate it EBR times. Then you can restart the flight control on the MP. Here remote controller. Connect the QGC with the FC. Click QGC. And ignore this error. Please pay attention to the direction of this red arrow and make sure it is facing the same direction as the drone. You can find some information of the drone here. This is the numbers of the satellites. This is the percentage of battery charge. And here is the flight mode. It is recommended to take off in ETL hold mode. And you can see it is green here. It also means the drone as self-check was successful. If it is yellow, you can click here and find some information, tips to tell you what the problem is and help you solve it. Please pay attention here. If that means ATL hold, B means loiter. The drone can take off only when these two modes are after a successful self-check and it shows green here. Now let us install the propellers on the drone. Please pay attention to the difference of CWCCW. Don't T. Make mistake. He let us give a demo.
Attention here! If you feel resistance when spinning the propeller, please don't spin any harder, otherwise, anti-disengagement, buckle on the props mod will be damaged. Now we are ready for manual takeoff KQSE. Hand for example, the left hand turn up and down is full throttle, turn, left and right is cars, the right hand turn up and down is forward and backward, turn left and right is traverse. Now let us unlock the drone, please pay attention. The unlock of open source FC is not like this. We have to push the throttle joystick all the way down. And then to the far right you can see up here. That means the drone is unlocked successful. Now we gently push the throttle, joystick. The drone will leave the ground and the RC show. Altitude hold. After the drone enters stable flight, we can click B on the RC. Change to loiter, then we can control. The drone according to the different joysticks, if we want the drone to land, we have to push the left joystick down, and the drone will begin to land slowly. If we want the drone to land, we have to push the left joystick down and the drone will begin to land slowly. When the drone touches the ground, we need to Push the throttle joystick to the lowest position and at the same time turn it to the far left. The drone will be locked and the motors will stop rotating. Now we are ready to fly in auto mode. Please confirm the flight mode first. Here is loiter mode. We click ready to fly and then click on swipe right and the plane will unlock. Then click the takeoff button, set the takeoff altitude, and then slide the slider. The drone will automatically take off according to the command. When flying to a height of 10 meters, the drone will hover. It should be noted that the guided mode will now appear. If we press button B, the fly mode will not change. Because before the automatic takeoff, the drone is already in loiter mode. At this time if we push the joystick, but the drone will not respond. Now what we need to do is exchange to other fly mode and change back again. Now we push the joystick, the drone will respond as, okay, let us ask the drone back and land.